In order to uh, read your inscribed book, you can open up your uh, email app. In this case, we're using the Gmail app. And then you just tap on the EPUB icon, and that'll pull up a list of apps you can use to open it. Uh, we're going to try opening up with uh, uh, Moon Plus on the EPUB. Moon Plus is good because it can actually open both the EPUB and Mobi type ebook. So we're just going to scroll through our EPUB here, and you can kind of see it on the, on the Samsung uh, Smart Probe. Okay, so uh, you can open EPUB and Mobis just fine uh, using the uh, Android operating system uh, on smartphones. If you want to try opening the Kindle app, it's a little trickier. You have to uh, use an app called File Expert HD. And what that does is basically um, you can you need to download the Mobi file and then uh, copy it into your Kindle directory. This is kind of something we uh, recommend just for advanced users, but it allows you to uh, sideload the Mobi ebook into your Kindle library. Okay, and as you can see here, we're going to find our Kindle directory. It's usually labeled uh, just Kindle. Okay. And then you uh, copy the Mobi file uh, into there. And then uh, now when you open up your, uh, your Kindle library, it will uh, show up. The Mobi ebook will show up in there. So let's take a look at reading an EPUB and Mobi ebook on an Android type smartphone. In this case, this is an a Samsung S3 Galaxy. Although uh, these smartphones, they don't usually come with uh, third-party apps. You can download them from the Google Play Store. Let's take a look at uh, Montana Reader Lite. Uh, it's free. And the ebook we're going to pull up is uh, one that has been inscribed via the Substance B website. So it has personalized signatures and images. And uh, it's pretty easy to scroll through. And you can notice the, uh, the reflowable text. Uh, it displays well. You can access the uh, table of contents pretty easily. Um, just by clicking on the bottom there. And you can also uh, view the ebooks metadata inside the library. Another app is the, uh, the Kindle for Android app. That's for Mobi type ebooks. It works pretty well. Uh, it's developed by Amazon, of course. Um, and uh, it's pretty, works pretty much like a, you know, uh, the Kindle for iOS. You just kind of uh, can swipe from page to page. And uh, you can access uh, different parts of the ebook, such as the table of contents. And you can click on go to table of contents. This is useful for nonfiction if you need to uh, go to different parts of the ebook all at once. Um, and you can, uh, it's possible to change settings on this, like the font and the background and uh, the line spacing and things like that. Um, the next one we'll try is Moon Plus. Now, not, not a, this is for EPUBs. Um, it's got a nice uh, page turn animation. Uh, you can see it here. It's got this little page flipping action here. But um, unfortunately, on uh, Moon Plus, it has some problems properly rendering uh, EPUB ebooks. I mean, it is functional, but it might not look 100%. Uh, um, and you can access uh, the controls at the bottom of the page there on your smartphone. You can also uh, adjust the orientation between portrait and landscape just by flipping your your phone. Another app let's take a look at is a uh, cool reader. Uh, it's got this, uh, it's not bad. It's got this like wooden background, I guess. Uh, that's, it's kind of unique there. Um, and, um, it, it can be used to read, uh, EPUBs as well.